Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Fingers Valley in Transport Fever 2. So uh, last time around, we built this um, uh, steel production line, right? <clears throat> now we need to do something with the steel. Now, uh, it occurs to me that we could just drop the uh, steel over at one of these hubs and that will, uh, that will let us uh, take it somewhere else and actually do something with it. <clears throat> I'm just uh, scrolling around here looking to see if there is a uh, steel uh, consumer uh, right nearby here and there isn't. So that does mean yeah the nearest one is here. Well here so I definitely want to bring it into the um, the hub here. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, are, yeah, yeah, I need to bring it into the hub. So, uh, and bringing it into that hub seems particularly strategic. So uh, we started out with the tracks here already. And I think I need to, to feed them through here. And then we can come in this way. Yeah, uh, that does look like the path to take. So, uh, tracks, yeah. Um, we need to go, uh, yeah, about that way. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take the uphill here. Uh, okay, now we need to... Uh, yeah, keep going up a bit. Okay, now here, I think, hmm, ah, yeah, that will, uh, that will work, I think. So if I bring it up to here, yeah. Okay, uh, if we uh, build the crossing, yep. Good. And up here we go. Now, we've got to come around the nose of that, uh, that there. Um, and we're going to, where are we going to drop it off? Um, Probably on a platform over here. Okay. Right. So we come around the nose. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah, a happy little uh, little track there. Uh, okay. Now. Yeah. I definitely want to come in on that side, so we'll uh, we'll take this. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, just come over the uh, the hill thingy here, and then we'll come in and hey, yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll come in beside the main line here. Uh, okay. So if we come up here, uh, yeah, we come up here like this, right? Yeah, I don't want to interfere with the uh, with the uh, the the mainline interhub freight because uh, if I do that, then uh, uh, well, it just make things less efficient and. Uh, we can we can build some tracks here. Oh, I should uh, I should get time rolling, so we have some uh, income or something. So we can come up here. Yeah, yeah, we definitely need income. Let's just tick the uh, kick the afterburners on. Um, yeah. Okay. So I want to come into. Uh, I want to come up to about here right 
Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift the... Oh yeah, I'm going to shift this over to the other platform. Yeah, definitely. Uh, shift it to the other platform and then uh, then see where things go. While we're waiting for cash to come in or hemorrhage out, uh, something that, uh, you know, as I'm recording this, uh, I read an update from uh, the developers of Transport Fever 2 that uh, they're working on uh, a major update for, for the game. And one of the major things they're working on is uh, performance improvements. Uh, in particular, memory usage and load speed, right? So that should be interesting to see how that pans out. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much luck they'll have. Historically, it's been hit or miss. But uh, it could definitely uh, pay off pretty significantly. Uh, you. You come out level there, right? Yeah. Uh, too much curvature. Okay, okay, I can take that. That will do. Now, how does that come out here? That comes out fine. Okay. And that will allow getting to this platform or this platform. Okay. Uh, so we'll take that. Good. And then you can come up here. Right. Yeah, that, that'll definitely work. Um, build that. Yep. Uh, actually, I think I want to do this. Uh, come out like that. Yeah. And then this can just go double track like that. Okay, good. What? No. Uh, didn't get the click in quite in time there. Good. So that's that. So now we just need to get uh, trains on there. Uh, one train at least. But first of all, we're going to put uh, signals on here. Like this. And these and maybe even these yeah I know right signals uh, I think maybe some here and some over here seems appropriate yeah we'll definitely need the one there and one more in this gap here now uh, where is the I put a depot up here right yeah I did Let's use this one. Uh, do we have diesels yet? No, no, we're still in 1897. So we're going to need something with a little bit of power because we're going up and down. 310, 400, the Mogul, 450, the PLM, uh, the 10 wheeler, I think. Okay. Uh, cargo, this is going to be steel, so that's um, that's flat cars, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll buy a $5 million train there. <clears throat> and that's going to take some uh, time for the uh, cash to uh, flow in. Um, <clears throat> But we do have uh, a cash flow coming in, so uh, that's uh, that's not the end of the world. Uh, yeah, so we're we're uh, we're catching up on the, uh, the money I spent now on the uh, the train line there. Um, yeah, it's going to take a while to uh, to fully uh, filter out, right? Um, that's three million up. Four. Um, yeah. 
Just need to get the one train in. I could drop it to 10 cars and probably pay for it. Uh, there we go. We got it. Okay. New line. Uh, so we come down here. We go from here to here. And this is the Buffalo Steel Mill to El Monte um, Hub. Right. Okay. Right. So why don't we just jump on board this and uh, just enjoy the uh, excursion through the uh, scrub land here and uh, you know observe the uh, the mesa thingy there or a butte or whatever it is yeah we'll just tick along here do some stuff just mosey along the track You know, every time I do this on an open space like this, I'm amazed by the uh, by the terrain detail. <clears throat> it's one of the reasons for performance problems in the game, actually, uh, <clears throat> is the uh, the detail on the terrain. Uh, it's detailed enough that a, at a quick glance, you're not quite sure you're looking at a computer generated uh, scene, and that's. Um, that's actually quite good. Uh, now, obviously, when you start looking at it, you can see the telltales, right? But uh, at a quick glance, it looks surprisingly real, like this cut here. It, on a quick glance, as we're going by, you don't notice the stretched and blurred textures, right? And with the uh, ambient occlusion and all of that stuff, with the... Uh, uh, whatever is causes the uh, distance blur there, uh, that just makes it feel even realer, right? Oh, we come, we've come up on the single uh, single track bridge. Yeah, which I'm leaving in for role play reasons. Oh, uh, on my uh, offline game, I've been experimenting with uh, pl uh, ploppable uh, building assets. Uh, that provide uh, commercial and uh, residential demand. And I might actually go for that uh, to put in some clusters of buildings around farms and, uh, and things like that. Uh, it seems like it might be, uh, might be great to have some buses or whatever going out to farms and things like that for, uh, for additional uh, uh, detailing, right? Uh, or to uh, put up some uh, urban sprawl or something that's not directly under the control of the towns or whatever, right? You know, suburbs that aren't going to grow on their own. Um, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we definitely needed the more powerful uh, engine here because uh, we were struggling there. Uh, so we picked up uh, 32 steel. Uh, yeah. So that's, um, that's going to start kicking some stuff into production as well. Uh, so we're going to get goods produced, right? Uh, are goods going anywhere? That's the, that's a question. I'll have to check that. See if goods are actually going anywhere. If I have boxcars running on the uh, interhub or something. Right, and uh, here we come into here. Uh, yep. Well, plastics is uh, is doing uh, great business. Okay, we've got. Uh, Well, we've definitely got something happening. Uh, well, we must have boxcars going there because we have uh, tools. Um, 
I'm pretty sure I'm going to need uh, different uh, transport options here. We're using the CANSTAT. Do we have something, some other uh, truck available? Well, we have the CANSTAT does 25K and carries 5. That does 25K and carries 6. Yeah, we'll, we'll use that. that that's a 20% uh, increase in capacity, right? Uh, right, yeah. Well, it's definitely picking stuff up there. And uh, are you uh, actually producing anything? Or, or is there nobody that... Okay, so uh, that is goods. Uh, do we demand goods down here? No, we don't. So we don't have anybody that demands goods on that part of the network. No. Okay. So that's why it's not producing. Good. Or delivering, anyway. Uh, it is doing something. Right. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's definitely uh, progress. Now let's just take a look at these things. Um, I think I think we can put. Yeah, we're going to need more uh, more trains on those. But I don't think it's more trains we need. I think it's longer trains we need. So if I come down here and I lengthen the platforms, because these are currently, uh, we got a cargo type, Ann Arbor. Yeah, it take, get, takes fuel. So these are currently four chunks long. Ann Arbor now takes uh, goods. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend the platforms here by two. And uh, just for symmetry, I'm going to do that. Uh, do this, do this, do this, and this. Okay. And we're going to need to extend the platform here that we're coming in on. Whoops. Now we need to do this one by two as well. Yeah. Okay. We don't need to build another platform because we have the platform there. Because uh, I'm going to end up uh, extending that train as well. Um, okay, let's get out of here. And we'll just go and pick up the iron here. Uh, we'll go and we'll manage the vehicles. Yeah, this is gondolas. So we'll edit it. Gondolas. Seven. Four. Yeah, it's that one. Okay, so that gets us to 160 meters at mediocre. That doubles it. And we can probably go even more. But we need, yeah, we'll modify that. Yeah. So we're going to basically just about double uh, manage vehicle. Edit. Yeah, modify, manage vehicle, edit. Now oh, we need some more uh, more cash to do that. Uh, this will double the uh, throughput um, without uh, increasing the contention on the bridge. I think so. Uh, yeah, we got that. And then we come down over here and do the same thing over here. Uh, manage vehicles. Edit. Uh, need another couple million and uh, that will increase that one. Um, what's pulling this? A Russian class B. Okay. Well, we're two million in the hole now.
Yeah, I would, uh, I would time it just that well, wouldn't I? So anyway, uh, as I, I was saying about uh, assets and making little towns or whatever, buy industries or whatever, uh, yeah, it looks like that's working. And uh, I need to play with it a little bit more just to get a feel for it and uh, see if I can find a few more good assets that uh, can have demands added or whatever. Uh, basically, it's uh, just see, see what we can do, right? Um, but yeah, it's it's not that um, that particularly. Uh, oh wow, we're really dropping in the hole here. Um, we were down. Oh yeah, spent four million excess the previous. Right, go back in here. Um, yeah, it's going to take a while for that to clear. Now, if we if we look in here, we do appear to be in a situation where it should clear. Yeah, it should. Well, I could just do this, though. Borrow. Yeah. Then we can go in here. Modify. Yep. Okay. Then we can grab this guy. Yeah, we're, we're, we're down 10 million on the loan. Well, we get 20 million more in a couple years. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. If we pay off some of the loan as we can, it'll save us on interest, of course. Uh, but let's um, let's take a look at this guy. Uh, right. Yeah, there's enough engine power on that. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, th those will start paying off better once uh, once they they go back for a full load, right? Uh, and that's uh, that's going to make a significant difference. I mean, uh, now they're going to pick up uh, two and a half million or three million, right? Instead of well, that one will anyway. So that'll bring more steel to the uh, the uh, goods factory there, um, right? So I can uh, close that, and I can go look for where's Ann Arbor. Um, no. Where is? Oh, that's a W place over here. Um, yeah, we're over at El Monte and Centennial here, so yeah. Well, we could uh, do a delivery on into Buffalo here, I suppose. Um, that could work. Um, that would get us fuel and uh, and goods. Um it would uh, this yeah we're uh, we're doing okay there now uh, okay so we're back down to the same loan level we started with okay um, right Okay, now let's just check in on our towns here. Uh, Centennial is doing the Centennial thing and uh, just sitting here, right? Ah, it's uh, starting to extend along this road here. Uh, I'm not sure I want it to do that on that, just like that though. Nah, I'll just let it do what it's gonna do. Yeah. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to, I'm going to reroute this road that I cut a while back. Yeah. 
Oh, we have an NW first truck available. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to route it through here, actually. Uh, since we are um, running off of that industry. Uh, there we go. Now, uh, I can go over here and I can grab this. Yep. Bring this across like this. Yeah, we can bring it up here. Yeah. Okay. And we come around here. Yep. And through here. And then we can come up like this. Uh, well, we'll come up like this. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, okay, so we just need uh, a couple dollars so we can uh, finish building that. There we go. Okay, so now that uh, cut road there is not going to get all over my, uh, my uh, sense of uh, appropriateness. A sense of appropriateness? When did you get one of those? I don't know. Okay, well that's doing its thing. Uh, what's happening here at Columbia? Nothing. What's happening here at El Monte? Interesting. Uh, interesting road operations there. I don't think that's what I want the road to do though. No, it really isn't. No, I want it to uh, to do this. Make it straight. Uh, yeah, making it straight. Right, it's going to take 300k to do that. Hmm. Oh, well, that will do. And we can make this one straight as well. Yeah, we can't go through there. So, yeah. Uh, and we'll make that the same kind of road. Then we'll go on here and we'll configure this and passenger building. Can we fit one of those in? No, can we fit one of those in? No. No. Okay, what about one of those? Uh, medium main building. Nope. Small main building. Uh, side building, side building. Okay. Now we go in here and we grab one of those and we'll make this player owned. Do this. And then we can just bring a, a little touch of road like that. And now, just like magic, we have more of the town uh, covered. And just because I feel like it, I can build that too. Yeah. Uh, just like that. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So El Monte's doing fine. Um, Sacramento's doing fine. Uh, Fairfield is doing fine. Yeah. And the W place. Um, it's doing fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I think, I think this is long enough for an episode. Uh, I mean, we did some fiddling, uh, got, uh, steel coming out of here and heading over here. So after this, I think it's, uh, I think we're going to be looking at maybe putting another, another freight hub in right around here. I think. Not sure. Anyway, uh, that, that's for next time. Now, I will just mention on the way out that I have a Patreon. The link's in the doobly-doo description thing below. 
uh, if you want to support the channel, go for it. If not, then don't go for it. Entirely up to you. And that said, uh, that's all for now. So see you back next time.